What's up, peep? Uh, what's up, peeps? Are you on console and do you want the best settings for the smoothest ninja-like movement on Warzone? The best settings for aimbot-like aim on Warzone as well? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a video for you. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best settings for controller on console in the new Warzone Season 5 Reloaded, which will be my last season settings video ever, as this is the final update for Warzone. Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right into the settings. And all right, for the first setting, we're gonna be in the controller section. The BR button layout, I do have default because I do play with paddles in my controller, so I jump with my paddles. If you guys don't have paddles, then I'd either recommend tactical, or you could go with the bumper jumper tactical. Now, I also do play with flips, so that means that I shoot with L1 and R1. If you guys have a PS5 controller, I definitely recommend this one. Next up, stick layout preset, default, uh, default. These, my dead zone, remember, it depends on how your controller and how old it is, but the lower your dead zone, the better you will be. Mine is set a point zero four. Now, now, this is where I change something if you want significantly better movement. Change your right stick minimum input dead zone, dead zone, sorry, your left stick max input dead zone to 0.40. What this will do is that you barely have to touch your left stick and your dude will start automatically tax printing and it is a complete game changer. Next up for my sensitivity, I have played in 9.9 for quite some time now and I love this sensitivity and I don't think I'm going to change it anytime soon. So that's what I roll. Next up for my custom sensitivity for my low zoom, I got 0.85, 2 and 2x and 3x, I got 0.8. 80, and then 4x all the way to the bottom I have 0.73 if you got something different in the 99 sensitivity remember do not copy these right here but you can copy the differences like for example 0.05 difference from here and then 0.07 difference from here it makes it nice and smooth next up for the aim response curve type I've used linear for so long now that I can't remember last time I used dynamic when I tested it out dynamic did not feel good at all so if you guys haven't used linear go ahead and test it out it feels nice and smooth control the vibration I do have this enabled remember even though if you have it off it's not going to be an improvement to your aim. I just have it enabled because if I don't have it on, it just feels super weird when I shoot. Gas mask toggle only. I had this enabled. That means this is one of the newer settings added. And that means that you have to open your menu and click square for you do to, to put on the gas mask. Now, the reason why I took it off is I was playing a game and it just wasn't working. Like I had it toggle on and I was pressing square and square and my dude just would never put the gas mask on. So that's why I disabled this and just have it how it's always been in Warzone, even though it's annoying. Next up for the aim assist, I have used standard for quite some time now. Remember, if you want more aid, a, uh, aim assist while you're ADSing, go ahead and select focusing. If you want more aim assist while you're hip firing for those close range scenarios, go ahead and select standard. All these right here don't really matter. Go ahead and select ADS. Uh, but the one that will matter right here is the steady aim behavior. I do have it on toggle and it's helped me some significantly with my snipers. That means that you not have to hold your, the button to hold down your breath. All you have to do is click it once and your sniper will start holding its breath, which makes it a lot easier on the thumbs. Next up, equipment behavior, uh, hold and this. Remember to have tap to use. That means whenever you hold click something it'll open the box pick up stuff all that which makes it a lot easier uh depleted ammo switch enabled uh, armor plate uh, apply all if you want to be faster with your slide cans remember to have slider behavior on to tap how to move forward disable tactical sprint a single tap from sprint and then remember this one to have a two automatic tactical sprint next up all these do not matter except parachute on deploy have this disabled graphics uh 50 percent war motion blur all this remember to have it off if you want better frame rate on your console uh gore effects i have it enabled brightness i have it at 55 because i do play fortune keep if you play rebirth i'd probably recommend it to set this at 50 at 50 automatic texture streaming i've had it at high quality disabled standard quality and i really just feel that it makes no difference my game has been lagging quite a bit so that's why i put standard quality i'm actually going to go ahead and uh, just test disabled but i don't know why the, the the frames and the game has been lagging quite a bit not sure if it's for everybody bits but it's been for me next up for the interface this is disabled english for the colorblind i've been running the delta anopia again this is one of the few things you can change on console to make your game look a little different remember to select colorblind target at both Minimap square, remember to have that at square, and then the rotation have that enabled. And as well, remember this little tip right here kill feed duration, have it at 30 seconds or 60 seconds. That is the kill feed on the left hand side will appear for longer. And why is this better? This is better because you can see if one of your teammates killed one of the enemies or the last person that you killed. So you can just keep tabs on that. This is another one of the new settings they added close buy station on purchase, pretty self explanatory. Whenever you buy something on the buy station, if you want it to close immediately, have it enabled. If you are the kind of person that likes to buy a bunch of things or you want to close it by yourself then have this disabled but i do have it enabled now this is all another one of the as, as settings that they added as well default to focus on the first loadout item on in drop that means if you have this disabled whatever loadout you had selected whether you were in the pregame lobby or in the game the last loadout that you had selected it will be the one pre-selected if you have this enabled whenever you open your loadout drop it will always appear 
here on the top. So again, I have this disabled because I like my previous loadout to be selected. All this in the tech chat, remember to have this uh, just disabled or whatever, doesn't really matter. And then it is system in game alerts, I have enable all. For the audio, I run boost high. The best ones for me are boost high and boost low, depending on your headset. I did try midnight mode just recently and it just felt like I was underwater. Again, all this depends on the kind of headphones you have. Remember, if you want to test how your audio works, go in on the top left hand side and it says play audio test. Go ahead and play that and then you'll hear a bunch of sounds that will help you determine what audio setting is best for you. Also, something that I did do was lower your massive volume all the way down to 25 to 23, depending, but lower it down significantly and it will help. It basically lowers all the shots and all the airstrikes and all that, but keeps the footsteps at around the same. Music, I have it at zero dialogue at 15. Effects, I have it at 100. Cinematics at 61. Juggernaut music, doesn't really matter. It's for multiplayer, but I have it enabled. Uh, hit markers, go ahead and select classic if you want a little bit more punchier sound when you get the hit marker. Mono audio, this does not matter. Remember, if somebody does have echo or you have echo on your mic this is where you're going to go on the audio in the open mic recording threshold and set this number to 15 once you set it to 15 it should remove all the echo background noises all that sort of stuff that your mic has if you don't have any echo then keep it like mine at three voice chat volume since i did lower down the master volume we are going to select this at 40 which will help you out a lot microphone volume keep it at 100 voice chat effect and nothing right here and again if you guys don't want to hear any music when you're in vehicles remember to have this disabled and this all the way down to zero quick little tip as well if you guys do not want to receive invitations from any of your friends when you're playing and to prevent those misclicks and from joining him go ahead here where it says social notifications and hit this disabled remember by pre by default it will be enabled so go ahead and disable that streamer mode this is in case you are streaming you don't want any other people to see your name or anything like that or the people that you're playing in go ahead and select this enabled and it'll just put a bunch of random names but i don't really mind and ladies and gentlemen those were the best settings for people on console playing on controller let me know if you guys all enjoyed peace out and i'll see you all in the next one